Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to today's Bitcoin update for Tuesday, 24th of May. And uh, here we are and I hope that everything is amazing for you guys. So basically, uh, first thing first, do join our Discord and the link is in the description of the video. That's the Discord link. So uh, yesterday in the Discord, I actually did make a quick update. And that's the beauty of, you know, Discord. You do get some quick text updates. So Bitcoin is still... Uh, hasn't successfully retested the symmetrical triangle and uh, Bitcoin seems like it was in trouble so I did have to tell them that it was in trouble and uh, so first why am I saying this I'm just gonna remove all these drawings from the charts and uh, first of all I'm on the four hour time frame here and you know uh, on the Binance chart it, uh, sorry on the uh, if I turn on the log scale it actually looks different if I turn it off right here it's going to look a little bit different as well so what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn on the log scale back right there and uh, let's talk about the four hour time frame so you see yesterday you broke out of it and you really made a fake out do you see that you were breaking out of it and uh, that's the fake out so the first technical target was supposed supposed to be what the issue is that you see as a trader you're gonna have to face this kind of problems if i actually dive in into the four hour time frame just look at this one touch second touch fair some few touches right here right so the trend line is intact finally you broke out of it look at the next candles here they actually made some sort of a confirmation but then again it actually decided to roll over and as soon as it started to come inside the triangle i, I actually understood it wasn't retesting uh, the triangle successfully and now once again you're inside the triangle and uh, unfortunately the direction might be to the downside okay from from this point yes if that was a very nice good successful retest that would have taken you to 32,000 which was the first price technical target that I was looking forward to but anyways it is what it is and now if I do actually stretch out this uh, lower trend line it seems like now you finally lost the trend line itself so if i actually show you this um this is like for the first time uh you know in a while that you're closing below the triangle do you see that so the favor is basically at this point if i zoom in to actually go to the downside now fake out and boom go to the downside and you know you cannot even get emotional about it if you try to get emotional about things and how they happen then that's going to be really bad now the first technical target basically is going to be down here to where we form the triangle and that's going to be 28,039 now that's the four hour time frame okay and uh, by the looks of things you can actually say that this is almost a bearish rectangle symmetrical triangle okay and I, I've, I've talked about this two days ago again in, into the discord i do have a uh you know i did have a post an image here and this is what i was talking about we talked about bitcoin making sideways movement this seems to be a symmetrical triangle perhaps a bearish one so you know when you're moving to the downside what i want to do is go on out to draw so that we can uh, get the concepts clearly so now let's say this is the market, right? The market is ranging down, up and down, up and down in sideways movement. And then you kind of make, uh, you know, some sideways movement like this, up and down, just like that. This is actually making a bearish symmetrical triangle. And when you break out of it, you basically continue to go downside. These are known as continuation patterns. And one of those continuation patterns, if you want to learn more about them, is basically on my trading course. So do check it out. Again, the link is in the description if you want to learn in details. So basically, I'm going to do this one for you. So let's do it. Bearish, um, you know, symmetrical triangle pattern. Okay, so let's look at it this way because that's going to actually clear the concept. If we do match it out, uh, this is what I want to show you. So yep, the prices were coming down, coiled up into the in, into a triangle like this. You break the triangle, and you continue to the downside. So the prices were coming down, coiled up into a triangle, and you're potentially breaking it out and going to the downside. Right? So that's that's something that is possible. That's something that is kind of playing out 
at, at that moment of time something like this basically do you see that so if I actually do show you this image right here so the prices were moving down and then they coiled up in a symmetrical triangle and then it broke out of it and continued to go to the downside so yes you do have this huge huge resistance up here now that's the four hour time frame let's talk about the daily as well because it's kind of important to notice how the daily now the pattern this continuation pattern actually looks excellent on a daily time frame do you see that you went to the downside boom 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 got coiled up here now it seems like it's way more probable that you're gonna drop okay and that's that's just how the market is crazy yesterday it was something else today it's something else even on my signals I had to actually close one of my trades uh, uh, for the BNB as well like yesterday we were taking a BNB signal here and we had to close it completely sell the BNB and book the whatever profits you have because even yesterday I talked about how BNB is looking to go to $360 but by the look of things when it comes to Bitcoin it might not really let BNB go to the to that direction basically it actually might let uh, the coin actually flip to the downside basically so here we are and uh, right now we are looking at a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern now yesterday we talked about the morning star right so this was the morning star right there it actually uh, came up and the next candlestick that you're printing in is a bearish engulfing candlestick so just as I talked about the chart pattern let's talk about the candlestick forming up so uh, I'm gonna say bearish engulfing patterns and from here guys uh, this is what I want to show you and let's talk about it the bearish candle opens at, at or above the previous candles close bearish candle closes below the previous candles open so the red is bigger than the green and the red here is bigger than the green the only way to now invalidate Bitcoin and get Bitcoin bullish at this point of time is going to be that you cross 30,671 the issue with it is that uh, pre, you know you never close below the trend line and this time you really close below the trend line just look at this you have if I zoom in you really have lost the trend line just look look at that you are below the trend line so basically the favor is right now to the downside yes yes there could be a small pullback a little bit of a pullback and that's gonna be up here to 29,400 maximum from there get rejected potentially and continue to go to the downside but still this daily candle is quite important you never know if if things still go to the upside if it actually manages to come up to 30,600 that's a good chance you're looking to actually really go up here to the $32,000 but by the looks of things it's getting a little bit hard right now and that's it for this update guys hope you enjoyed the update join the discord check the course if you want to learn more about the contents and uh, I even talked about the you know the three day uh, three black crows on a three day chart on a Binance chart the other day so that, that's something you have to keep in mind that is also in play and uh, if, if things actually go uh, on a, uh, as expected then if this is really a symmetrical triangle you might be looking to even say it's a pennant and this pennant can actually take you to twenty thousand dollars so I'm just gonna leave it like this this way because we uh, this looks way more true than anything else that I can even possibly tell you uh, this really looks like a bearish pennant or a bearish symmetrical triangle to me unless we don't really go up to 30,671 and uh, we are gonna actually have to be logical you're gonna have to be uh, you know uh, non-emotional kind type of trader if, to be successful in this space and uh, I'm gonna see you the next one I love this